good afternoon from Moab, Utah. This is my fourth day in Utah and I've been having so much fun while I've been here. I found that the towns and campgrounds here are really hustling and bustling, but with so much to do, like, I can understand why. Right now I'm staying at the Grand Staff Campground, which is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It costs $20 a night to stay here, but it's right along the Colorado River and directly across the street is the Grand Staff Trailhead. This morning, I explored that trail for about four and a half miles on a nice little trail run. Very, very cool. Now, I run back because I want coffee. Good morning. I got up this morning and I went for a trail run right across the street from my campsite. So I'm staying at the Grand Staff campground. The Grand Staff trailhead is literally, right here there's a bike trail behind me, like halfway up the hill, and then all the way up the hill is the street, and then literally right across the street is the trailhead. So that was pretty cool. I didn't really know what to expect from that trail. I knew that it was about four and a half miles out and back, but I didn't know like what it was gonna look like and I was pleasantly surprised. It was really, really cool. I didn't bring my camera with me, but I brought my phone. It reminded me of Escalante, like Coyote Gulch. It was really cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was pretty much just looking to get out and run. I have not been doing that at all since I hit the road. Ooh, yeah, and when I was um, in lockdown, so like in the spring months, I was running every day. Um, and it's something that I actually really enjoy doing. And so I think just for mind and body, I need to make a commitment to be doing that kind of activity several times a week. Usually in the morning it works better for me because I can just, you know, make it part of my routine every morning. And I think it's a pretty reasonable thing for me to try to do, even if it's just a couple of miles, just to get those endorphins going at least. But also, I'm not feeling my fittest at the moment, which is kind of insane since I'm like, living on the road, trying to hike all the time and everything. And I would think I would be in like the best shape of my life. But as I've talked about in a video before, this has all been a bit of an adjustment. And so now that I have some of the basics down, I can kind of switch over to trying to work out some of the finer things sort of level two of getting adjusted. These campsites here are in high demand, so people keep driving through, checking to see if there's any availability. I don't think there is. I got here about this time, actually a little bit, actually about an hour earlier 
on the day that I snagged this site and it was the only one available. <clears throat> Somebody was just pulling out and I just happened to get here at the right time. It is an established campground, but it's a BLM campsite. So it's $20 a night, which is a bit more than I like to spend, but honestly, because I'm gonna be here for a few nights in a row, um, the reason that I want to be at an established campsite is because I have access to a vault toilet. And this is a nice location, but um, for me, the vault toilet is important in this kind of uh, landscape because it's, um, it's not very good soil. <laughs> Gross. I don't think I'll leave that in. Okay. Ooh. My friend tire made it. Yeah. That's good, it's fun. <laughs> Two more, one more. The most valuable thing that you have is something that you give away for free and never get back, and it's your time. So, yeah, it's your life. That's all you have. Thanks. Once you kind of get it, see, my bike can get you start to learn to ride the rock. This is awesome. Yeah. Just learning to cook. Yeah. So. I'm not as 
but I'm also being kind to myself because it's been a big adjustment and so I'm like take one thing at a time like I can't expect that I master everything at once so now I'm focusing more on cooking and all that stuff um, now that I kind of have like the rhythm of figuring out like where am I gonna camp and how am I gonna set things up I dig deep no, I just keep people by digging. Yep. Good. Woo! Your time's done. How are you feeling? Great. Living on the road is so glamorous sometimes. <laughs> I'm like gonna take a little nap in the back seat of my car. It's 90 degrees out. I'm gonna go shoot the sunset, but I'm gonna wait. Maybe it'll cool off a little bit. <laughs> I have time. I'm tired. It's been not just a long day, but a long couple of weeks. I'm not sure. Well, maybe. Maybe it has been like a week and a half or something.